I'm originally from San Jose, California. It's beautiful being from San Jose because so I grew up in a real mixed ethnic neighborhood. I grew up with black kids, Mexican kids, Filipino kids, Asian kids, white kids. So it's beautiful. When I grew up, I didn't learn any racism, right? Little kids don't know racism. Racism is a learned trait. You teach racism. That's a fact. Thank you. Yeah, beautiful. So it's beautiful. When I grew up, I didn't learn to hate color. When I grew up, I learned to hate the fucking rich kids. I'm trying to hate their fucking BMWs and their Mercedes Benzes and their food. Two parents and shit. Pull the city toilet paper. Right, growing up, all my friends were black, or half black, or want to be black. <laughs> right, and I ended up going to Hollywood to make a show business with some guys, and they had some other friends that they met from around the country who went to LA and don't know me, don't know where I came from. Right, and hate on me just for the color of my skin. Like, I was with my best friend Jamal at the Dragonfly on Santa Monica and Wilcox in Hollywood, and he's a rapper from Oakland, so he's doing a show. And I'm sitting in the back, in the green room, it's a patio area. Do some gangster shit, right? <laughs> Drinking Hennessy, smoking blunts, gangster shit. Oh, white folks, uh, blunts, those are marijuana cigarettes? <laughs> so we're doing it in the back, doing some gangster shit. And all of a sudden, this black guy from Alabama or Mississippi or somewhere in the South just hated on me for the color of my skin, right? Because I was the only white guy partying with these guys. He's like, yo, pooch, if that is your real name, which I doubt, fool. <laughs> Look at me, son. You a white man, bitch. You try to dress black or dance black, hang out with the brothers, listen back music. You a white man, bitch. Look at me, you fucking white. And it got all quiet in the room, right? Because everybody knew as a comedian didn't know what I was gonna say to this guy. And then I just snapped. <laughs> I look at him. I look at him, and I said, "Yo, dog." <laughs> That's just what the white man wants you to think. <laughs> just think about it, fool. We all got to get along in this crazy mix-up world together. Don't we, folks? Yeah. Cut me, cut you, cut you, cut you, cut you, cut you, cut you. We all bleed red, right? Yeah. We all shit. <laughs> Piss. Fart. Fuck. All animals on this animal planet, which we're a part of, we all do those five or six same functions together. <laughs> Not together. <laughs> How do you get to see? <laughs> you guys have a great problem. I'm gonna end this land. I'm gonna end this anti-racism bit with this, man. If you think you guys have it about racism or somebody's being racist to you, or you're about to be racist to somebody, I just want you to stop and think that the whole scheme of the animal planet. As human being animals, we don't have it so bad with racism because some other animals, animals on this planet have it worse off than us with racism. Because think about this, right now in a zoo in San Diego, there's a panda bear sitting in a cage, half black, half white, and a Chinese bear.